So only office has changed the very annoying feature where it treated my 4k screen as a high DPI screen. Uh, I can now turn that off. So that's good. I feel a little bit better about that. So I'm going to try uh, only office in that same spreadsheet. So uh, let's go here. It hasn't registered yet for some reason. So I have to click a couple of extra buttons to load it. So it's slow to load. I previously loaded this, so it's fully cached. Ah, uh, this is slow. I think I wonder if this some um, LibreOffice code base in this. We'll soon find out when I go to delete rows. So it's very slow to open, and there's um, no progress indicator, unlike LibreOffice. All right, so same old spreadsheet. Let's turn on filtering. Uh, let's try and try that text filtering. So, um, what I did was I selected for text starting with Gen. So the search result has given me codes with Gen in them. That's good enough. Clicked OK. And I'm waiting for it to process my filtering. It's very, very slow. So this spreadsheet is well over 200,000 rows, and that filter selection should have left about 60,000 rows. Okay, so that was slow. Uh, in the other test, I added columns. Let's do that. Let's insert a column. Insert left. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, it's still waiting. It's actually slower than LibreOffice. Click it again just in case I didn't click it the first time. Okay, well, what's it doing for CPU? Ah, it crashed. Lack of memory. Okay, so this is, um, I'm going to stop. This machine is 64 gig of RAM, so it's absolutely not out of memory. Um, just looking at my stats here on another screen, so it's, it's actually got it's only got six six gigs of actual RAM in use at the moment. So nah, sorry, only office. We'll come back to you maybe in a year's time and see if the situation has improved.